All right, hello everyone. My name is Kailash Viswanathan. I'm a doctoral student at the University of Illinois at Chicago. I'm advised by Professor Jan Verschelde. Our talk today is about PHCPAC.JL, solving polynomial systems via homotopy continuation. And the source code to our interface is shown at the top of this uh, slide on the GitHub link. Okay, so what exactly is homotopy continuation? So let's motivate this by discussing an existing Julia package that uh, solved this problem, homotopycontinuation.jl. And this is a package for the numerical solution of systems of polynomial equations. So it does this via continuation. So we'll discuss continuation here. So homotopy continuation methods are symbolic numeric methods and they embed the system to be solved in a algebraic homotopy. Um, so that is a relationship between two different systems, right? So we have a start system whose solutions we know or we can easily compute, and we have a target system whose solutions we desire, right? And the two systems are algebraically related via this homotopy. And so if, um, if the properties are such and the start system is designed with appropriate properties, we can actually track each isolated solution of our start system to the corresponding solution of our target system. And um, we use Newton's method to, to actually track these paths. So you may recall from uh, linear algebra, Newton's method is a method for solving nonlinear equations, but the key with Newton's method is that you need a good guess. So your initial guess has to be very close or fairly close to your actual solution, and then, then only can you iteratively update the guess to obtain your solution. So with a generic polynomial system, you may not have that good guess. You may not have that, so that's why continuation methods are an appropriate means to solve the problem. So phcpack.julia is an interface to the PHC uh, PAC uh, software, which has been around for a long time, and it has lots of algorithms and black box solvers and um, homotopies um, that we can design for our systems. And so phcpack.jl, is an interface that provides Julia programmers access to the full functionality of PHCPAC. Additionally speaking, we're going to discuss the numerical irreducible decomposition, and that's kind of what distinguishes our interface from uh, the native homotopy continuation.jl uh, package. Okay, so we're going to kind of motivate uh, this discussion of the irreducible decomposition with a uh, uh, an application from mechanical system design. So shown on this slide here, we have what's known as the Griffey Duffy platform. Um, so it's, it's a mechanical system that's described by polynomial equations. And we're either interested in given a, a particular system with uh, parameters given, what kind of configurations we can actually go through, or we're, di we're interested in actually designing the system such that given specific precision points, our mechanism passes through these precision points. So in that case, we would be solving for uh, the lengths of the joints shown there. Okay, And the key idea is um, the solutions are no longer isolated in this case. So what do we mean by an isolated solution? So it's a, it's a solution where in any kind of epsilon neighborhood that you consider, or there exists some kind of epsilon neighborhood, such that there are no other uh, solutions within that vicinity. So if the solutions are not isolated, that means they must lie on some kind of algebraic curve. So how do we deal with that numerically when they're not isolated? Well, that's where the irreducible decomposition comes in handy. We want to compute as many generic points as the degree of each irreducible component of our solution set. And these generic points for a given component define our witness set. So what do we mean by irreducible component? So we can think of factoring a polynomial, um, like over the real numbers or over the integers, as uh, reducing a polynomial to its irreducible component. So uh, extending that idea, the idea is that we compute the intersection of each of our irreducible components with the aff a random affine subspace of degree um, less than that. And these uh, intersections will happen at d different points, where d is the degree of each of our irreducible components. Okay, so these, um, we can represent our, in this case, we can represent our solution as a numerical irreducible decomposition. All right, so um, 
Let's finally uh, discuss the two interface options that we provide here. So phcpack.jl has two different types of interfaces. So type one, in the type one interface, we have uh, a native Julia application that obtains the inputs from the user, processes it in native Julia data structures, calls the executable within Julia, obtains the output, and then um, returns that output uh, in, in, again, native Julia data structures to the user. That's our type one interface. Our type two interface, we actually call the relevant functions from a shared object file. And so with the, the advantage of this is that it is platform dependent. So this type two interface actually makes use of the C interface. So PHC pack is written in ADA. So ADA may not be accessible to a lot of programmers. So there's also a good C interface. And the good thing about C is that it acts as kind of a least common multiple between other languages that interface well uh, with C. So in this case, unlike our type one interface, um, most of the, of the function calls are re relinquished to the C interface. So the, the, unlike type one interface where we um, process the input and obtain the output in Julia data structures, the C interface sort of does all the heavy lifting. So if you're interested in how this interface works, uh, I suggest you look at the reference or you visit the, uh, I encourage you to visit the GitHub site um, whose link is shown at the top. So we'll note that phcpack.julia is still a work in progress. Okay, so thank you for your time, and I look forward to any questions you may have. Thanks.